Welcome back everyone. This will be an organization of some forcible cards. I've bought a lot recently and I don't like storing them like this, especially if I do like the card due to the artwork. So I bought an actual binder made for uh, cards and I got extra card holders. This is what I currently use to store all of my trading cards. That includes Force of Will as well as some like random collectible cards I've gotten. And I did do a video on this many years ago. But I ran out of these. And the way I organized these, they were by card series and the number on the bottom. <laughs> I told this to one of my friends and he was horrified. But that's basically how I organize them. And I still have a couple, but for example, I only bought a few cards or card packs from this series, so I don't have you know, a lot. I kept spaces for when I did, if I did eventually get more cards in that series, but it just never happened. But I figured I'd dedicate a binder just to force a book. So, um, eventually I'll take those out of that one. This is the leave a link um, in the description of where I purchased that. It was on Amazon. As much as I loathe buying from them, it's just really convenient. But here is the binder. It's, uh, you know, faux leather, PVC, whatever you want to call it. Plastic. But it's got some weight to it, so it doesn't feel too cheap. by using these first because these are black. That's kind of loud. I want to start with this set um, because I recently purchased them so they're all more or less from at most three series and they have a number on the bottom that designates the series they're from and then the number of the card and then whether or not um, it's like a rare or anything like that. I might just skip organizing them by rarity I'll just do the number. So that's GRL, MOA, MOA, GUS, GOG. Wow, are these not? Wow, okay. MOA, GRV. Now I'm confused. Huh. It says the name of the- I never noticed this, but it says the name of the artist on the bottom of the card as well. That's pretty cool. Nikyoku. Wednesday. Takumi Sukigawa. That's pretty cool. I never noticed that. But... Hmm. So the 
this is NWE. NWE, NWE, MOA, MOA, GRV, 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 GRV. These are all MOA. Yeah. This is GRL. Which I believe is this one. I don't know what the difference is. GRL, GRL. One is like Game of Gods, one is Game of Gods Reloaded or something like that. TUS. Right here. TUS. Oh, those are TUS. Then MOA. GOG, GOG. This is, I believe, Game of Gods. So all of these should be, because they're still more or less organized on the order I open them. So there they are. separated by the series they're from. <sighs> now I have to decide whether or not I want to organize them based on the series they're from like I did before or if I want to organize them based on the type. Because I don't play uh, the game itself so I'm not too familiar with the gameplay mechanics but for the most part I can tell Similar to Yu-Gi-Oh, we have different types or elements of cards. Like there's resonators, um, a spell, these are spells, these are additions, uh, this is a resonator, a resonator spell. So yeah, they're more or less organized similar to how um, Yu-Gi-Oh does it, so it's pretty much just up to me to decide. Because if I decide to organize them based on the number at the bottom, then I'll have to leave room in between cards for any future additions, which I'm not intending to have. I pretty much reserved myself to buying forcible cards once a year. <laughs> Just because I don't go to the mall that often, and that store at the mall is the only place I've found them. I know you can buy them online, but I don't really want to. But yeah, so if I organize them by type and then just keep adding whenever I get new ones, it would make it easier to organize instead of having a bunch of gaps because I'm not looking to collect the whole series. I just like to get cards. So I might just do that. And I'll try to organize them based on the series within that category, but not too bad. But anyway, so in this container, I also have a couple more that I need to organize. And then I just have some random Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which I think I can I can actually put into some sleeves. I think I'm gonna 
dedicate this binder to Force of Will and then put all the other miscellaneous trading cards that I have in that other binder. But here we go. This is TST. Oh, y'all can't even see that. <laughs> um, here, let me put some of these to the side. So TST, ADW, ADW, GOG. Oh, this is Game of Gods as well. So I've purchased these specific series before. GOG. Oh, she's pretty. I don't remember getting her. Um, illustration by Matsurika Yoko. This is from ADW. ADW, ADW. All of this, I think, is from ADW. The cards in this particular series are really nice looking. I'll have to look up what that series was it, just so I can keep an eye out for it. Because I was really disappointed in. in the card selection in Game of Gods. A lot of the cards are really cool, like this one, but I'm particular about what I like. I like fantasy, but I don't really care for like Lord of the Rings style fantasy. I like like dark magic stuff and whatnot. And I think Game of Gods was themed after Greek or Roman mythology, which is fine. But, you know, stayed around that theme, gladiators and all that. So the artwork matched in it. A lot of it I just didn't care for. Which is not to say the art isn't good, it's just not my taste. So, moving forward I think I just have to keep an eye out. <laughs> I kept this because I really liked the artwork, but I think I actually purchased the, the card for this guy, so I don't really need to keep the artwork anymore. But I do remember that series being really good. And let's save here. Would that be MS? Oh, it is this one. TMS. Okay. Wait. This is... TS... Did I even organize these? <laughs> TST... ADW, ADW... Oh my goodness, I mixed them up. Okay, that's ADW. That's TST. Okay, I think the rest is TST. Okay. Uh, this is TMS. Which I don't have on the binder yet, so... TMS, 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 TMS. I think all of this is the moon that's savior. Because I think I opened packs. Oh, random Yu Gi Oh card. Because <laughs> I think I opened all of those packs together for a video. And they've kind of just been sitting there. If I have a lot of one set, I may just go ahead and organize it like that. Um, but series like Game of Gods, I probably just won't care for to do that. And I'll organize it by type. Or, you know, just instead of by the number, I'll just organize it based on how many I have. We'll see. Because I will have to undo the organization I did in that binder when I redo these. And I'm back. Okay. So I have decided to organize them still by card series, but instead of the identification number on the bottom of the card, I am going to categorize them within their own series by type. And I'm still trying, I'm still going to decide um, once I separate them that way if I want to go buy my favorites, because I, I do like the idea of having the ones that I like to look at together, or if I would prefer to have them in order of the number at the bottom of the card, once they're in that category. So the first thing I need to do for this system to work is go through all of the ones that I've already organized and 
undo everything I did basically. I'm gonna have to take them out and group them again within their own series, which should be pretty easy. And then once I have my little stacks of each individual series, I will be able to then separate them again and just start one by one going down the line to group them by category of the type of card it is. So my intent will be to put resonators first because they tend to have the best art, to be quite honest. Um, so these are SKL. And then I'll probably do spells. I think spells are good. I was considering leaving some out um, to create a deck in case I ever somehow decide to actually play the game. But um, that would mean going through all of them and picking out cards that I have no idea would be good in, in a deck or not. Because it, like I said, I don't play it, so I don't know the mechanics. I don't have the slightest clue on what would make a good deck or not. So for now, let's just keep it to aesthetics and to have a nice little collection. An organized collection. Oh, I have MD. Oh, this must be the mistress of... I can't remember. It, it was the, the card pack with the girl in the front wearing a kimono. Very iconic cover art. Like millennium something. Okay. BFA. I don't remember these. Are they all BFA? Nope, just a little bit. BFA. Let me know if y'all enjoy the crinkly noises or not. It's really weird. When I first began watching ASMR years ago, I always got tingles from people going really slow. And then after a while, it just, it didn't work the same way. I guess I got used to it. So now I prefer ASMR of people just going ham <laughs> on what they're doing. I don't like the going super slow. It's the sound is not organic to me. I much prefer people just doing it like normal. It's a lot more natural sounding to me. Okay, so those are all the BFAs. Oh. I'll have to flip these. <laughs> But this is the BFA group. I don't think I already have that group in my stack. Yeah, just Game of Gods. GRV, ADW, MTA. What was this? Oh, SKL. Wow, SKL stack is huge! What series was this that I bought so many? Yeah, I don't have... Then there is this page, MPR, and I'll try to remember what these stand for if you're like curious. Oh, that's an interesting card. I 
I do like the, uh, the tapping sounds though. Okay. So that is NPR. And oh, there's more. Oh my goodness. I bought so many. Um, CMF. I do have CMF actually. Wait a minute. Is that not on the... Hmm. I thought I already had this series um, on the binder, but I don't. So all of these are one <laughs> part of this same series. Oh, I remember this card. It's beautiful. Look at this. If you can, if it'll focus. Gorgeous. The artist is mad. It just says mad. So tempted to just let them fall like this, but that would be so nice. Oh, actually, it's kind of working. Is that how people do it? Let me know how y'all go about undoing these. I just grab them, but this is kind of working. Oh, god, okay, I see. I'll move to my filming space once I get them all out because I, I want y'all to be able to see the cards. Oh, here's a double-sided one. Pandora of the Dark. Such a cool card that y'all can't see because my camera won't focus. Super cool. I love that. That's a really cool gimmick. I hear the cow again. I think this, I think this series was my favorite because it had a lot of the fantasy, uh, fairy tale theme surrounding it, and it was just super cool. Why is there a? What was this? Oh, that's why. <laughs> this was such a cool card. This was the guy on the cover of that uh, pack, I think. I'll put him back in that sleeve. But yeah, this had a lot of fairy tale influence to the artwork, and it was so cool. It's actually what made me buy Force of Will in the first place. The pack art caught my eye in a board game store. And I bought my first few packs at that store. I never went back to that store because it's kind of out of the way, but I wish that it's that one store that started it all. Last page. Wow, these are thick. I must have gotten a lot of doubles from this series. And in addition to these, I believe I also have one or two cards that are in those heavy-duty card sleeves because I actually bought those cards from eBay because I really wanted them. I didn't get them naturally, I just bought them. So I'll have to look for them because I think they're somewhere on my desk. Those will definitely be joining the rest of the cards. I don't want miscellaneous forcible cards everywhere. Okay, but that's a crimson... Gosh, what was the name of this one? Crimson Spell or something. Again, I will put the name of all the, the card groups once I swap over to my filming space and start organizing them. But that's all of them. Oh, I'm lying. <laughs> There's these. 
series, I clearly didn't get a lot of. T-A-T. Oh, Mad Hatter. What series is this? I might go and grab some packs of this one. Alright, so I looked it up. And this is from a series called... Grim it's from the Grim Cluster. But it's the Castle of Heaven and the Two Tower. This is what it looks like. So I do remember, I think, getting maybe one or two of these packs, but that was it. So now I'm regretting not getting more. And unfortunately, this is one of those series that just probably isn't available anymore. Because for the longest time, even though Force of Will was, I think, being discontinued, um, oh, you could still find a lot of the packs for cheap online, especially like box sets. But it looks like now, with it coming back, or still being around, um, people are selling the packs for much more expensive. So I've organized them based on the series they're from, I think. It's been a couple days. I had to come back to this. And I'm just double checking to make sure that they're still in their little piles. <laughs> so there's not a lot of room on this um, area to do this. So I might just have to improvise. I'll start with the small cards first, or the small, the small groups. This is GRL. I have no idea what that one is. So, this is a magic stone. This is a resonator. You know what? <laughs> I think I need to push this back a little. Oh goodness, that just messed up all of it. Some of these are flipped because they were in the card packs or the card pages and I didn't go through all of them and flip some MDA, 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 MDA. I think I'm going to, first of all, the resonators are definitely going to go first, then maybe spells or a chant. And then additions, and then I'll do the life points second to last because they tend to have really cool art on them. And then finally, these magic stones. I really wish sometimes I had a tripod that did not have the legs, um, you know, splay out from the camera. It was the type that the legs are only on the floor, that way I, I stop hitting the tripod because this, this tripod I'm using came with the ring light and it's not secure at all. It shakes so much. But I'm going to rubber band these just so that I can keep them together and they're not going all over the place like these. Okay. And then once I'm done doing this, I think I'm going to organize them or put them in the pages in order of the series that I like the most. So this is a resonator. Resonator. Um, a spell or a chant. Let's see. It's a real shame this ring light kind of shines it very strongly because you can't see the art as well. Oh, this is a beast resonator. Interesting. I've never seen that. So I'll put that, maybe it's its own category. An addition. Yeah. A chant. An allu a resonator. Hmm. <clears throat> so there's subcategories to the resonators. Okay. I think. Um, maybe they have specialties, so I'll just put the ones that more or less have specialties in their own pile. In addition, a chant, in addition, a resonator, 
a spell resonator yeah. oh I see the subcategory just determines the type of resonator they are so like this person is a pr or this resonator is a priest this is an illusion this is a beast okay so I'll just keep them all together then a king why is that a category <laughs> what does that imply not much spell a spell a resonator oh this card is so pretty why did i not have this in its own sleeve spell a spell okay and you know they each have their own elements and i did consider grouping them by elements but i kind of just want to put them in order of the ones I like the most, which actually might be the water types. I think that's what that is. And then probably f fire, but only this guy. I don't really care about this guy. And then there's the beast, which is just okay. And then the light. Yeah, so I'll just organize them probably uh, based on the ones I like the most. Not necessarily the category. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens once I start putting them in the pages. Uh, I wish I had more aesthetic. Oh, wait. I'm not done. Then, what did I say in the previous one? Spells go first. And then the additions. I wish I had more aesthetic rubber bands, but I don't. I just have these standard brown. This series is ADW. Again, I don't remember what they are. <laughs> wow, the style of the cards in this series are really different. It's like they were working towards the newer version and they were still trying to decide what they wanted to do. Um, I really don't like this set. <laughs> this card's cool though. Okay, so you can see it at the top. Resonator, life points, magic stone, a chant. Resonator, resonator, chant, chant, addition, chant, chant, chant. That was easy. Not a lot of resonators. Addition, life points go next, and then the stones. There's going to be one that has a pile of stones that's going to be really funny. Um, I don't remember what series it was, but I remember getting a single pack where all the cards were just magic stones. Okay, so this one is pretty appetizing. The This one is TMS. Okay, resonator, chant, resonator, resonator. If I have doubles, I might consider putting them in their own pile and storing them somewhere else. I don't know. Chant, resonator, resonator, resonator. Well, you can barely see this one, but it's like a, a battle between ancient um, animals. Like, here's a... Oh my goodness, I took science, prehistoric biology years ago, and I can't remember the name of this thing, but I loved it. We got a dinosaur and a whale. Oh, oh, this is an addition. Resonate, right? Yeah, resonator, resonator, resonator. Resonator, chant, resonator, resonator. He's so cute. Um, spell, resonator, spell, spell, resonator, resonate. Wow, I got a lot of resonators here. Spell, spell, resonator, fairy, resonator, demon, resonator. The magic stone. Huh. A regalia. I don't think I've come across a card like this yet. I think I'm going to set it with the magic stones because it kind of looks like that's the purpose of it. A J ruler. Is that like a, a resonator as well? A ruler. 
I do remember reading about this, but it's been a while. Did they remove that option from the game? Because I haven't seen that category in a while. Magic stone, a spell, resonator, resonator, spell, spell, addition. So this, this pack was, or this stack was interesting. So we have a J. Ruler. There's nothing on the card indicating it's a resonator or something. So I'm just going to keep it as its own category. And because it is one of those cool double-sided cards, it'll go at the top of the stack. So I'll do J. Ruler first, then the resonator, then the spells. Editions. And finally, these, which I think I, I guess I'll put Regalia first and then the, the stones. It's so weird. Never, never looked at these cards long enough, I guess, to realize. Ages, I think it's the name of this one. I think I remember that one. But that is a spell. Resonator. Resonator. Addition. Addition. A spell. Addition. Spell. Addition. Resonator. Spell. Addition. is N W E. I've got a chant, a resonator, a magic stone, resonator, addition, chant, resonator. <coughs> Here's another new thing, a resonator token. I'll just put that behind the resonators. Easy, easy peasy. I might not even need a rubber band for this one, but I'll do it anyway. Oh. Okay. Addition. What? What? This is addition resonator. Resonator, addition, addition, resonator, resonator. For some reason, when I first started collecting this game, I was under the impression resonators were rare because they more or less acted as like your main monster or something. And you would use the other cards to power them up and determine playable playability or something like that. Um, but there's so many resonators in these stacks that that's probably not the case. If anything, I think the rulers are probably what you want to go after. If they're still in the game. I haven't seen them in these newer series. Okay, this one is T-U-S. Chant. Resonator. Magic Stone. Resonator. Chant. Resonator. A coin that I don't know what that is. A chant. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. 
My camera did not used to stop recording on its own, but now it does. I don't know why. I looked it up once and it said it had to do with the memory card, but I upgraded the memory card and still. Um, but there may be some gaps, and I apologize, because I don't notice when it does it. I caught it on, in the corner of my eye this time, but... Um, secret stone. To me, that's just a magic stone. And then a chant. Resonators. To me, magic stones are cooler than coins, so I'll just put the, the coin in the back. Let's go for a big stack again. This is one of the good ones, I think. CMF. Crimson something fairy tale as I think what this one was. It was one of my favorites. It's, I think it's the one that got me into collecting the series. Oh yeah. Yeah. I remember this art. I had to go and get the card myself because I couldn't find it in a pack. Okay. Uh, magic stone. Resonator. Magic stone. Resonator. Addition. Resonator. Spell. Resonator. Oh wait, I'm lying. No, I'm right. A uh, spell. Spell. Addition. A uh, resonator, right? Unless he's a... Ru oh no, he's a ruler. Ruler. Okay. Spell. Addition. Oh, I'm sorry. The cards aren't even in frame. I'm so sorry. Addition. Resonator. Resonator. A uh, spell. Addition. Resonator. Resonator. A magic stone. I thought I pulled one out already, but I guess not. Well, we'll see. Resonator. Addition. Resonator. Resonator. Oh, she's cool. Resonator. Resonator. Spell. Resonator. Addition. Then what's this down here? Is this also? What the? Why am I making two piles of resonators? Hold up, y'all. I messed up at some point, I just know it. Yeah, that's what it was. I knew it. I had a pile of. Okay, I just got too big and took over the magic stone pile. Okay, resonator. 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 Spell. 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 A ruler. Consider that Yu-Gi-Oh is probably what this is imitating, but the resonators just different monsters. Addition, resonator, resonator, spell, spell, a J ruler. Yeah, rulers seem to be something that they discontinued, or I'm just that unlucky, and I just haven't gotten any of the new packs. Resonator, resonator, magic stone. Oh, here we go. From that pack that was just magic stones. Big stack of magic stones. Okay. And then it was spelled with him at the top because he's my favorite. And then the spells, additions, and the magic stones with this one. That's not it, this one. So, for these big ones, I think I will film myself putting them in the bags, but the small ones I probably won't just because it's... Just doing all this is going to take me a while and I don't have the time right now to film. Okay. So this is from SKL. This is also SKL. Okay. Oh wait, these are also SKL. What? So, are these all SKL? Yeah. So it's oh snap. So this is probably the biggest stack I have from one series. That's pretty cool. I didn't know I realized I got so many from this one. 
I wonder what series it is. I don't remember. Okay. Oh, look. Another regalia. Regalia. Um, a resonator. Resonator. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep going out of frame. This ring light is so annoying with how strong it is. But it's to me, it's more convenient than having the two odd lights I had. Um, and I feel like the, the light is more dispersed evenly, so kind of have to get used to it. Resonator. 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 Spell. Addition. Resonator. Spell. Um, addition. Yeah. Resonator. 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 Oh. oh, this is one that I think I didn't flip over the cards after I took them out of the, um, the sleeves. Oh, this one has high attack and defense. Cool. It's just so cool looking. Oh, it's a day ruler. Oh, this is a spell. Interesting. Oh, wrong pile. <laughs> resonators. Oh my gosh, look at that pile of resonators. Okay. And then the spells. Ruler. 
He's double-sided. The regalia. getting hard to lean forward, so I changed the angle. Okay, we only have two, four, about five, four or five stacks left. Five or six, maybe. Okay, so here's some life points. Magic stone. Resonator, resonator, resonator. Magic stone, wow. <laughs> okay. I think I said life points first and then... Oh, I apologize. Did I even say which series that was from? GRV. That's what it says on the bottom. And then the previous one, I believe... Um, I think it was this one. No, that's not it. Uh oh, I lost it. <laughs> uh, TMS? No, I think we did that one. M -O -M no, we did that one too. Oh, here it is. The previous one, previous one was SK. And then, this is T-A-T. Again, I don't remember what that's from. Okay, Resonator. This is from Resonator. Oh, <laughs> Butler. That's funny. Go Butler. Attack. <laughs> Magic stone. This is GOG. Let me just make sure this did not overflow. ADW. Okay. So this is GOG. Game of Gods. I do remember that one. Because I just opened a couple packs of them. We have some life points. A magic stone. A chant. A resonator. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> Keep getting off of uh, the frame. I do apologize, it keeps hitting the camera and it keeps going out of focus. This is TSD. No idea. <laughs> we have an addition first. Addition. I'm like zoning out as I do this, that I keep forgetting where the piles are. A coin. is really cool though. But so is this one. Okay, so I know life points are before the stones, and I think I said the stones go before the coin. So I'll just leave it like that. Oh my 
my gosh. Last stack. So my camera stopped recording and then I realized um, the last stack was actually from another one. So I guess they got separated. But here's the last stack that I had. It wasn't very big, obviously. I love this life points card though. So here is the previous ADW stack I had. So I'll just put them all together. There's the resonators. Here's the single chant card that was in there. Um, addition. Oh wait, there's more chants. Additions. And then the life points. And the magic stone. So that is the complete stack of ADW, and it concludes my sorting through all this. So in total I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 series of Force of Well. And I'm probably going to go through them one more time to make sure I didn't miss a few that were... Oh snap. <laughs> that were supposed to be together. And just got separated for some reason. I don't think so. T-U-S-T-S-T. -S -S -T. I feel like I saw a T-S-T. G-R-V, scale. These small stacks make me suspicious. B F A T T. Okay, no. There's a T A T T U S and T S T. That's why it's tripping me up. G R L. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I have a lot of uh, card series to go through. Um, what I'm gonna do is just select the the top ones that I like, which is probably gonna be this one, this one, definitely this one, this stack as well. Uh, the rest of these, I think, are on the newer side and don't appeal to me all that much. So I'll just go through each stack and determine... Well, I think I remember this stack being pretty cool. But yeah, I'm just going to go through all the small stacks, uh, determine which overall set of cards I like best, and then I'll just organize them by favorites that way. And then I may do it today, I may do it later, but I will get started on putting all of these cards in the little sheets, and then we'll finally get to organizing this binder. <laughs>